Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're in Smith's Toy Store today, yeah? and we found these two brand new Transformers releases. Studio Series 112 Optimus Prime, and Studio Series 8629 Bumblebee. And the first one we're going to check out is Optimus Prime from Transformers 1. This figure is inspired by Transformers 1, the new animated movie, which is due out later this year. Let's take a look around the box, the Transformers 1 logo. Large window where you can see Optimus. Cool image of them here, the Studio Series 112. Another image on the side here, and here we are at the back. Here on the back, we have a couple of cool images of Optimus. It takes 25 steps to transform, with a detailed backdrop of Metropolis of Icon. A hero fulfills his destiny, becoming the legendary Optimus Prime. We have a close-up image of Optimus. He's a deluxe class transformer. Now let's crack on and check out the figure. Here's everything unpacked. Here we have Optimus, the detailed backdrop, and a packet of accessories. And here we have Optimus all unpacked and on a detailed backdrop. Out of the box, the figure looks pretty cool. We well, come to expect of Optimus Prime, he's mainly red and blue. A couple of accessories were his smokestacks, which has to his arms just here. Now let's look around the figure and check out the articulation. He has a nice head sculpt, he has some nice blue eyes. Head can move around like this, up and down. Here's his chest area, there's a blue window which is like this. And here's where you can put the matrix of leadership. And you can see it through the window. Now check out the rest of the articulation. The arms can move forward like this, out to the side, and bend at the elbows. He has a little articulation in the waist. And you have to move this up to move his legs. Legs move forward and backwards, move to the side and bend at the knees. Now let's look around the figure. He has a nice head sculpt and a cool chest area where you can see the matrix. He has a really nice detailed waist area. And he has nice blue legs. Now let's look around the figure. Here's the side, back, another side. He also comes with an Energon axe, which can attach to either hand. It attaches to him like this. And here he is holding his Energon axe. For comparison, here are Transformers 1 Optimus, alongside Rise of the Beast Optimus. As you can see, there's a difference in their size, the coloration in their waist and arm areas, and smokestacks. Here we have them alongside Gamer Edition Optimus. Their height is almost the same, but Gamer Edition looks bulkier. Here we have Concept Art Megatron alongside Transformers 1 Optimus. They look pretty cool together. Hopefully they release a Transformers 1 Megatron in this scale. And it'd be rude not to include Bumblebee as they are best friends, and here we have Rise of the Beast Bumblebee. With the scale that you come to expect, he is smaller than Optimus. Right, now let's transform him into his Cybertronian truck. After 25 steps, here we have Optimus transformed into a Cybertronian truck. Here's where you store his Energon Axe. Here's the front. Here's the Matrix of Leadership. Here's the side. It also comes with this accessory, which can attach to the front like this. And when he's in robot mode, it's hidden onto his back. I really like Optimus' vehicle mode. Can't wait to see him in action in the movie. And he rolls really well. As we run the vehicle. I like how the smoke sacks are here and not on the roof like you normally see them. Here's the side. Top view. Here's the Energon axe again. Here's the back. Other side. Underneath. And here's the front. Here we have Rise of the Beast Optimus in his truck mode. As you can see, there is quite a difference between the two. One of the first things you notice are the repositioned smoke stacks. 
Usually they're behind the cab, but on Transformers 1 Optimus, they are down here. Head on, the new release is a little smaller compared to the Rise of the Beast version, but it's a little wider. I really like the new sleek design, but I'm not too sure about the repositioned smokestacks. I was really surprised to find this figure in Smith's today, as I thought it was due out next week. Having it in hand is making me even more excited to see the movie. I really like how it looks in either robot or vehicle mode. And it's cool how this one comes with the matrix of leadership. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching. What? <laughs>